All right, the next crate that I'm gonna review in my crate review sequence is a Dakota 283. Now, this crate is far different than a very kennel. It is roto molded plastic. It is probably twice as heavy. It comes with this carrying handle, yeah. which is molded into the crate, okay? Now, I mean, this thing's heavy. Not as heavy as some of the crates I'm gonna review, but it's pretty heavy. You also see that it has inlays here for tie downs, I believe, so the straps kind of settle in. Makes it a little bit more streamlined. The thing I do like about this crate is it's pretty heavy duty. You know, they try to build it so so it could take a so it could take some punishment. The door latch, it closes really nice. It's really it's pretty stable. I mean, you could it would take a lot of dog to force this open. So I don't think that's an issue. Now I've only had one dog in here for 30 minutes. It was my Malinois puppy at four months old. And like I showed you in the very kennel, he didn't do any damage to that kennel. But to this kennel, he destroyed this kennel. I wouldn't say he destroyed so it's not functional, but he did enough damage where it is horrible for his teeth. And for some reason, these edges just stick way out here in the front. And on the top here, there's a, there's a big edge. And in 30 minutes, my dog just, he, he started eating it. And it was just, I couldn't put him in there anymore because it was just too hard on his teeth. And that's all I wanted to do is chew on it. So I'm gonna show you this damage and you can come to your own conclusions. So as you're gonna see in the pictures, you can see the extent of the ridge in there or the, the flange here. And there's one up here too, and this one up here, we're not gonna take pictures of it, but it is chewed on in the corners. I do like the door assembly, the way it is metal framed and metal housing sits in there. It just, the dog has access to it. So when they're bored and they're laying there looking out the, out the, the door, waiting for you or they're anxious or whatever it may be, they're gonna chew on it. And my dog had toys in there, stuff to chew on, rubber Kongs, things of that nature. So there was other options. The one thing he did not chew on was this door assembly, which is very easy to chew on because it's right in their face. So they can chew on it. And I worry a lot about damaged teeth. You know, they chew on metal too much. It's, it's bad for their teeth and it can really uh, cause damage that gets expensive over time. The door frame is really, it's really nice. It's put together well. I mean, this is, it's pretty strong material, pretty strong stuff. The other thing in this kennel, is the way it's molded for this handle up here. It goes down, so there's a huge ridge on the top. And if your dog stands up, they're just gonna start chewing on that as well. Uh, so my dog was in here 30 minutes, created a significant amount of damage. So I pulled him out of here and I'm probably gonna repurpose this crate to somebody else or sell it. And this crate was not cheap. This crate was right around 600 bucks to get to my door. So it was not cheap at all where the very kennels I talked about in another video were much cheaper and much lighter, easier to clean. Now, for cleaning purposes, like this door, when it, it's got a really nice latch on it, but for cleaning purposes, they do have this drain hole out the back, so I guess they think you're gonna flip it upside down, spray it out from the front, and it will drain out this top here, which is not a bad idea. Their air vents, I do like that they have air vents the size that they have because it's not big enough for the dog to really get their mouth on, stuff like that. Not a fan of them on the bottom because hair and stuff can blow out or if they have diarrhea or vomit or anything, it can, it can end up coming out of there even though it is kind of high. Like the very kennel brand too and almost every kennel that I've ever seen they have some sort of a moat in here or they have a spot for the, the fluid to go if your dog uses their bathroom in there. This kennel, however, does not. It doesn't have any indentation, so if your dog makes a mess in there, they're pretty much gonna be in it. So there is no 
raised our indentions or anything to collect fluid, you know, whether it's urine or diarrhea or vomit. So that could be a problem too if your dog does decide to get car sick. It does come with a key so you can lock it for travel if it goes on an airline or something of that nature. All in all, this crate is not a bad crate. It's just, it's just bad for my dog. Um, I'm not a fan of not having somewhere to collect fluid because when you are, do have a puppy and they do have accidents sometimes, you know, he gets stuck in traffic and he can't get home and they just got to go. It's an automatic bath. That's for sure. All in all, a very strong, good crate. Just got too many edges for me. So we're going to move on to our next one.